Hello friends. In this video, we are going to calculate the price and the yield of a treasury bill with the help of Microsoft Excel functionalities. So let's get started. Before we start doing the calculations for price and the yield of the treasury bill, it's important to know what the treasury bill is. A treasury bill is a short term negotiable security which is issued by the government of any country. And when we talk about government, here we are talking about central government of a country. They are used for short term funding as well as to control the money supply in the economy. They do not pay interest on maturity. However, the treasury bills are traded at discount and that's how you initially pay less than the par value. On maturity, you receive par value and the difference becomes the interest that you receive on your investment. So here when we talk about par minus price, this is nothing but the return that you are getting in the form of discount. They are the most liquid part of the money markets because it's safe. People do have the trust on the government as the issuers. In India, the treasury bills are of the maturity of 91 days, 182 days and 364 days from the date of issuance. At this point of time, uh, the treasury bills are auctioned every Wednesday and the settlement of this auction happens on Thursday. If the government is issuing the treasury bill in the form of any other maturity, for example, let's say 14 days maturity or 7 days maturity or 34 days maturity or any other odd maturity, then this is called as cash management bill instead of treasury bill and cash management bills are not traded in the market. Once you purchase a cash management bill, then it will be a held to maturity and on maturity only this will get redeemed. Treasury bills are less than 364 days uh, or less than 364 or 365 days and that's why they are the part of the money market instruments. Now, if you want to find out the price and the yield, of a treasury bill there are two ways that we are going to do the calculations in this particular example so the first way that we are going to do the calculation would be a manual calculation which means that we are going to use this formula with the excel spreadsheets with plus minus equal to signs and like that and there is one more table that is available in this worksheet that's where we are going to use the inbuilt functions in Excel. So as you can see on the left hand side, T-bill price, T-bill yield, price disk, yield disk and disk. These are the five functions that we are going to use for calculations of price and the yield of a treasury bill. So let's see the first way which is a manual way. Here we have three treasury bills with us. The first treasury bill is having the remaining maturity of 91 days. The second one has a remaining maturity of 60 days and the third one has the remaining maturity of 34 days. 6.75%, 6.25% and 6% are respectively the expected discounts on these treasury bills. If there is an auction then definitely this could be also a cutoff discount percentage. And in India we are following the day count convention as actual by 365 which means that the interest is being paid on the actual number of days for the remaining maturity while one year is equal to 365 days. In US, the treasury bills are giving you the discount on the basis of actual by 360. So, depends upon the currency in which the treasury bill is and also the country that it is issuing. In India, we are following actual by 365 days, so we'll do the calculations accordingly. Let's find out how much is the total discount available on this particular treasury bill. So, par value, on this par value, the discount percentage is 6.75%. Please understand, discount value is always on par value, while the yield is always on the price. Yield is the return on investment, but discount is always on the par value. So par value multiplied by the discount percentage multiplied by the remaining number of days of maturity divided by number of days in a year. So par into the discount percentage into 
91 days divided by 365, actual by 365. That's how we get 1.68. 1.027 and 0 0.559 which means 1 rupee 68 paisa 1 rupee 3 paisa and 56 paisa as discount now this discount is initially taken away from the par and the price is being paid so as it is discounted from the par and the price is being paid we can simply calculate par value minus the discount and this can give us the price we can use the price formula which is given on the right hand side also to directly calculate the price so we can just take 100 into 1 minus the discount multiplied by 91 days divided by 365 days so in this formula what we have done is that we have calculated the interest for 91 days over 365 days period for a year and 91 days is for actually the interest period for this treasury bill and that interest we have taken out from the par value so this also is giving us the same value now let's find out the yield let's find out how much is the return on investment so yield is basically the interest on the price how much is the return on your investment that you are receiving so the interest that you have received is 1.683 which means 1 rupee and 68 paisa this we have received on the price which is 98 rupees and 32 paisa now if we just calculate this this is giving us 1.71 percent but please remember this 1.71 percent is only for 91 days so we need to annualize this by multiplying the number of days in a year which is 365 in this case if you are following actual by 360 method then in that case it will be 360. In India, it is actual by 365. In US, it is actual by 360. So 365 days divided by the remaining maturity of the treasury bill. So 6.87%, 6.31% and 6.03%. When we are comparing the yields with the discounts, okay, please remember one thing that because the treasury bills are traded at a discount, the payments are usually lesser than the par and this is a usual scenario world over except in those cases where there is a negative interest rate scenario whenever there is a negative interest rate scenario the price that you will be finding would be more than par value but in majority of the cases except from those countries where the negative interest rate is there you will always find the price of a treasury bill lesser than the par and that's how the yield will always be higher than the discount so we have done this calculation based on the formulae to understand the concepts. Now I'm going to give you the shortcut formulas available in Microsoft Excel. Let us say today is 10th September 2023. Let's also say that today is the settlement date of treasury bill. Settlement date is also called as value date. And this treasury bill will get matured 91 days from today. So 10th September is the settlement date and 10th December is the, is the maturity date. The par value is 100. The discount on this treasury bill is going to be 6.5% on par value. Okay. So what should be the treasury bill price? Now there are two inbuilt function available which is treasury bill price and treasury bill yield t bill price and t bill yield now these functions when we see we get tempted to use these functions but we must understand that these functions are calculating the t bill price and t bill yield based on actual by 360 day count convention so if we are using t bill price it is asking three parameters it is asking three inputs one is the settlement date Another is the maturity and the third is the discount. This discount has to be in percentage. So please don't type 6.5. It has to be 6.5 percent or it has to be 0 0.065. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is not asking for any other parameter apart from these three. It is not asking for day count convention. And that's why this particular formula inherently assumes actual by 360 day count convention. So based on actual by 360 day count convention, the treasury bill price is 
we will yield again the same similar kind of parameters or similar kind of inputs settlement date maturity date here instead of discount it is asking for a price so let's assume that the price that we calculated the same price at which the pbl is traded so if it is traded at 98.36 in market okay if if you are talking about us then there should be 100 dollars par 100 us dollars par value which means that 98.36 dollars is the treasury bill price then in that case the treasury bill roi or treasury bill yield is 6.609% okay now instead of this if we have to use it for any other decount convention then t bill price and t bill yield functions will not be useful we will have to use price disk and yield disk so price disk settlement date maturity date discount reduction and as you can see now, it is asking for a decount convention also. So once you press comma, it is asking for basis at the end. So comma and then basis. These basis are nothing but decount conventions. So depending upon the requirement, depending upon at which the treasury bill is trading, we can select any of these decount conventions. Uh, you have actual by actual, actual by 360, actual by 365 or 30 by 360. 30 by 360 US method and 30 by 360 European method. Here for India, we will calculate actual by 365 okay. and enter. So 98.37945 and if I just put it on two decimals basis, then 98.38. You are finding two PESA difference between the treasury bill price versus price disk function because of the day count convention. And yield disk, settlement, maturity, now, again, in this case, we are going to use this price, which we calculated with the price disk function. Please understand, we have to use the same day count convention for price and the yield. Please do not pick 98.36 here. Okay, we have to take 98.38, which we calculated a few moments before. And redemption is 100 and basis is 3. Okay, so this is the way that we can calculate price and the yield. Now, based on these inputs that we have, we can also back calculate the discount and see whether our calculations are correct or not. So disk, disk is a function which gives you the discount of a treasury bill or a discount of a discount security. Settlement, maturity, price is 98.36, redemption is 100 and basis is now this we are doing a calculation for t bill price and t bill yields so i'll take basis as 2 because this is for actual by 360 so 6.5 yes this is matching with what we took as an input and let's also calculate discount for actual by 365 so settlement date maturity date price redemption 100 and basis in this case, we are going to use 3. Okay. So when we say 3, this is actual by 365, 6.5%. This is how that you can calculate the price and the yield of a treasury bill. Now, if you are using this price disk, yield disk and disk, disk function, this can be useful for any deep discount security. So it doesn't matter whether it's a treasury bill, whether it's a cash management bill, whether it's a commercial paper, whether it's a certificate of deposit or any zero coupon bond. So any deep discount security, you can use the price and the yield calculations with the price disk, yield disk and disk function. So this is what that I had to share with you about the treasury bill price and the yield calculations. I hope this video is useful to you.